hello welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about a dutch painter who has broken boundaries in the world of art today we're going to be speaking on vincent van gogh after 30 years of patron of art collection mont blanc welcomes the masters of art collection where they release a series of limited edition pens to a great non variety of visual artists who have made a mark and have a broad range of discipline sculpture from paintings to sculptures and designs Stay who tuned. is vincent van gogh the dutch painter who has broken boundaries in the world of art vincent died a poor man but today his artworks rank among the most valuable to mark the 170th anniversary of his birth and the 50th anniversary of the van gogh museum in amsterdam vincent was born in zundert in netherlands Vincent was always drawn to art but didn't start painting until age 27. He did different jobs in which he failed at and that left him penniless, homeless and unemployed. At age 17, he was taken to his uncle Vincent who owned an art dealership where he was a salesman but he was fired for being rude to a client. At age 25, he became a lay preacher at Borinage among the coal miners in which he was rejected as well this brought about the lowest point in his life vincent had a brother named theo van gogh who was his greatest confidant theo advised him to concentrate on drawing at this point the artist is being born in borinage vincent now follows this part and no longer has a paid job as we can see, this pen is a limited edition to 2,321 out of 4,810 4, pieces that were made. 4,810 is the height of the Mont Blanc mountain. And so we have limited editions made in that number. And sometimes we have them in 888, which is a sign for wealth in Asia. In the year 1888, Vincent goes to Arles in the south of France. Here he is choosing his career as painting and goes on to rent a yellow house. Vincent was an artist that communicated with colors rather than words. In his yellow house, he is joined by his friend Paul Gauguin, a French post-impressionist artist as well. Vincent was a self-taught artist. He had much love for the Japanese woodblock prints and would often collect paintings from this collection. In the course of his stay, he got into an argument with Gogon, wherein he suffers his first psychotic episode. After threatening Gogon with a razor blade, he then goes off to cut his left ear, wraps it in a newspaper and takes it to a brothel, where he hands it over to one of the prostitutes, Rachel. After this, he then checks himself into an asylum, St. Paul de Mousseau, in St. Remy de Provence. The overall pen is shaped like a wood cutting knife, inspired by his great passion and collection of Japanese woodblock prints and print making tools called the Hangi tool. We have the cap here made of horn beam wood, just like the handle of the palette knife. Vincent has a distinctive style of painting which includes the use of impasto techniques in which the part of the paint is thickly applied on the canvas with a palette knife to create depth. We can see here that the clip is shaped like a palette knife inspired by this technique. The upper part of the clip is shaped like a pipe bowl in reference to Vincent's fondness of smoking pipe. The barrel showcases the yellow and orange strokes reflecting the sun-drenched landscapes of southern France as we see in his paintings. We have the Mont Blanc emblem in yellow precious raisin and borinage imprinted in the cap stating reference to when he decided to focus on art. Thank you for watching.